Marhaba ya shabab. Welcome to another video of this tutorial series. Um, in the previous video, we added this task repository class. We added the annotation, the add, repos add repository annotation, and which is just telling the framework this uh, DAO object and shape, and we let our interface implement in another interface interface the JPA repository interface and so if we do that um, on runtime this class will be implemented for us by the framework now let's just briefly uh, let me guide you through the method signatures so this first method find task by ID like the name already implies this will look for a um, task and we will just pass an ID as an argument and it will find the task for us or not uh, we'll, we'll use this method in several other, other um, places later on. Then we need a method for querying all open tasks. So that's the reason why we have written here a native query. This is just a plain old uh, SQL query, as you can see. And we have as well a uh, as a, another method which is looking up for all the closed tasks and it's the same it's, it's the same SQL query but we are looking for for is task open false okay now let me just explain our JPQL query here does description exist so we are looking at our task entity if there is any object which has the same description as our as our parameter this question mark and one just refers to our first para parameter which is description and if it just counts if there is already one then this count will be greater than zero uh, then just return true else um, just um, Give us a false value and this that's it that's all this method will do for us as again this is a jpql query and this is a native sql query here these two okay um if you have any further questions uh, just write something in the comment section below and i would say let's move on to the exception handling so we will create here a new uh, new package and let's just you know, the, sorry I'm just looking what, what's happening ah new sorry um, exception we will call this package exception so okay what we're doing going to do here is we are adding our exception classes so that's why we will create a new data class and the name will be data class and the name will be um, task not found exception okay I, I hope I have no typos in here okay great now we have this class the first thing we want to do is we will also add another annotation which will be the response status and here we have it nice this will be an HTTP status uh, but, not, but not accepted it will be uh, not found at 404 when a task is not found you can you can see what it's about so great we have the annotation what we also need is we need to to throw an exception we need to inherit from another class which is a runtime exception so great open, open bracelets and we need to say okay um, because as you can see we get an error message that has a control parameter, and this is why we need a message um, attribute here. 
let's just say override. Ah, here we have it, nice. And here we just will pass a message. And yeah, um, this will be thrown, this exception will be mainly thrown when we go back to our repository class here. Where for instance, when we looking for a task and we pass here an ID, like let's say we have the IDs one to five in our uh, table and someone passes the, 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 the ID seven, but we have only one to five uh, in our table, then this exception should be thrown. Task not found exception. Okay, that's it for this class basically. And we will create a quite similar class to that, which will be this new class, Kotlin, data class, and this will be that request exception. Okay, now we have it. We need here an annotation as well. Response status, uh, HTTP status. This will be not found. Uh, it's not not found. Uh, it will be bad request. Let's take a look. I mean, this is a client error. Basically, what we are implying with that is when the client is calling an endpoint, but he's not calling the endpoint properly, like when he is sending, um, uh, let's, where was it? Here in our data class, uh, create, let's say create, and he, let's say, I don't know, I don't know, he's not giving um, a description for a task, or there's no um, priority or something like that, um, this this exception should be thrown and yeah this class will also implement from our runtime exception and here as well we need to override the message and that's basically it now we have added our exceptions and I think in the next video we can move on to the actual service class which will hold our actual logic to implement and yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, if, if so, just let me know in the comments what to improve or if you like this kind of teaching, which I'm doing right now. And yeah, otherwise, give it a, please give it a like and subscribe and see you soon. Ilalikaya Shabab.